This is a wreck. <clears throat> hmm. The Litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of Patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. <coughs> Diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Strong, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mira of Patience, pray for us. <clears throat> Lover of Poverty, pray for us. Model of Artisans, pray for us. Glory of Home Life, pray for us. Guardian of Virgins, pray for us. Pillar of Families, pray for us. Solace of the Wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of holy church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him the Lord of his house and the ruler of his possessions. Let us pray. O God, in your ineffable providence, you are pleased to choose Blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Consecration of the Family Jesus, our most loving Redeemer, you came to enlighten the world with your teaching and example. You willed to spend the greater part of your life in humble obedience to Mary and Joseph in the poor home of Nazareth. In this way, you sanctified that family, which was to be an example for all Christian families. Ah, God. No, why? Ah. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, graciously accept our family, which we dedicate and consecrate to you. Be pleased to protect, guard, and keep it in sincere faith, in peace, and in harmony, and in the harmony of Christian charity. By conforming ourselves to the divine model of your family, may we all attain to eternal happiness. Mary, Mother of Jesus and our Mother, by your merciful intercession, make this our humble offering acceptable to Jesus and obtain for us graces and blessings. St. Joseph, Most Holy Guardian of Jesus and Mary, Help us by your prayers in all our spiritual and temporal needs so that we may praise Jesus, our divine Savior, together with Mary and you for all eternity. Amen. <clears throat> our 
I'm wondering if we have Pax Christi today. I'm pretty sure we don't. I mean, this is the second Friday, and that's usually when we have it, but I got an email suggesting that our first Pax Christi meeting for the autumn will be on October 12th, and I got that, I think, today. So maybe I'll call and find out. This isn't the autumn yet. We prob I'm probably missing it. We had one in August. And I don't know why we would have had one in August. If we're supposed to have the summer off. So I thought that our Pax Christi meeting in August was starting our autumn season. I am confused. For the church. Glorious St. Joseph, powerful protector of Holy Church, I implore your heavenly aid for the whole church on earth, especially for the Holy Father and all the bishops, priests, and religious. Comfort the afflicted, console the dying, and convert sinners and heretics. Have pity on the poor souls in purgatory, especially on my own family, relatives, and friends. Obtain for them the speedy remission of their punishment, that with you and all the saints and angels, they may praise and glorify the Blessed Trinity forever. God, our, he our Heavenly Father, Creator and Ruler of the Universe, in every age, you call human beings to develop and use their gifts for the good of others. With St. Joseph as our example and guide, help us to do the work you have asked and come to the rewards you have promised. Inspired by the example of St. Joseph, may our lives manifest your love. And may we rejoice forever in your peace. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, the beauty of uploading this is that it will lead me toward, um, it will automatically be tagged. I will be tagging uh, devotions to St. Joseph that are better than these. I, uh, it's certainly a better presentation than my reading them anyways, but I, uh, was looking for the seven sorrows and joys of St. Joseph, and I don't remember what book I was reading from them, reading them from, and I don't even, see, I can't even see or remember what book I would have been reading them from. I can't, I can't find them for the life of me, so the seven stars and joys of St. Joseph is what I was searching for. And that's what I wanted to present here today. And kind of, I'm out of luck. So, yeah, the seven stars and joys of St. Joseph are best for, for devotion to St. Joseph because it involves um, a tribute to St. Joseph, a, a memorial of of his story with Jesus and Mary. And then, so you read it, and then you follow up with an Our Father and like seven Hail Marys. So, so it's still mostly Jesus and Mary, but it, it heads off with um, St. Joseph and his story of his involvement with them. That's what's, a, that's what's important, is the seven sorrows and joys of St. Joseph. And I, I don't know where they are. A litany is good. It's good, but the seven stars and joys of St. Joseph are better. Then the litany, uh, maybe to follow or to start off with. If you could do, do that, the litany of St. Joseph, and then follow up with you know, the rosary or some devotion to Mary. The redemption... Our immediate redemption is, is uh, the economy of our salvation involves Jesus and Mary primarily. Now, the Muslims don't involve St. Joseph at all. 
But again, um, in fact, they don't think there was a St. Joseph. So, you know, and Mary would have been in a lot of trouble with them. There was no St. Joseph to defend her, anyways. And um, yet they hail the ground she walks on or floats on. Anyway, um, so the Catholics remember St. Joseph, and uh, our Bible involves a St. Joseph, and so we um, want to remember him. I've had um, an experience, as I said, of understanding. In my plight with St. Mary's, um, yeah, as I stated, that um, uh, Our Lady was showing me that um, devils can come in under her her guardianship alone, and she, um, without honor for Saint Joseph, without due honor um, for Saint Joseph, um, uh, Mary's guardianship is incomplete. So. Um, um, the, these are the lessons of divine providence in my life because now I am uh, dependent upon St. Joseph's. Um, when I was very much uh, St. Mary's community. And the, um, the Monsignor used to be a resident of St. Mary's and um, the pastor of St. Mary's used to be a resident of St. Joseph's. So... They do work in conjunction, but um, so, but the, that is that is lesson. I'm fa falling out with uh, Saint Mary's, and now dependent on Saint Joseph's, and so I kind of let him. I gave him the heads up on that first before he began to admonish me, but he did anyways, over from Saint Mary's. Oh, I'll let him know. I had the <coughs> Monsignor as my spiritual director. Yada, yada, yada. Maybe it might have gave some of the chastisement that I would have gotten on the telephone with him. Cell phone. I, I don't know what the heck I did with the seven joys and seven sorrows and seven joys of St. Joseph. I misplaced like all my devotions. Spill a fortune on them. I don't know where they are. All right, look those up.